Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Freemasons and the connections between space, NASA and the astronauts. NASA has trained over 600 people as astronauts. And as of March 2023, NASA has 41 active astronauts as present. It is not clear how many astronauts have been into space. One key fact, which is not public knowledge, is that every astronaut trained by NASA is a member of the Freemasons. In this video, we will be focusing on the Apollo 11 launch to the moon space mission. This was on the 16th of July, 1969, and allegedly landed on the moon on the 20th of July, 1969. The mission was completed by three astronauts known as Neil A. Armstrong, who was the commander, Michael Collins, who was the commander, module pilot, and Edward E. Aldrin, also known as Buzz Aldrin, who was the lunar module pilot. It is strongly believed by all Freemasons, as depicted in their image, which is held in every lodge, that the Earth sits on four corners of the Earth and is enclosed by a dome, known as the firmament or fermentment. This encapsulates and holds the whole entire world and the Earth and everything in it, including the sun, the moon and the stars. The ex-Nazi rocket pioneer, Veer von Braun, who later went on to become a Freemason, knew all about these secrets and passed them on to his fellow Masons. He had launched over 15 launches of rockets back in Nazi Germany before they surrendered to the US troops and then moved to America, where they brought all their scientific knowledge and exploration of space with them. Once Von Braun had moved to America to help set up and be the father and forefounder of NASA, he became very good friends with the 33 degree Freemason, Walt Disney, for which he worked on three productions with Walt Disney. After the Nazi regime was overthrown after the Second World War, what a lot of people don't know is that the Americans took 90 of their top scientists from the Nazi regime and brought them over to America. A lot of these people from the 90 scientists from the Nazi regime also went on to set up what is known as the Red Cross. After the passing of von Braun in 1977, on his headstone was stated Palms 19 first, which is King James Version of the heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament she with his handwork. In other words, stating and pointing to the firmament that encloses the earth, the moon, the sun and the stars. Part of the Freemason code is to show members of the public and those outside of Freemasonry what is going on in plain sight. This is because in the eyes of the Freemasons, as long as they show you what is going on, they avoid karma. In other words, they've depicted and shown you exactly what is going on. What you do with it and how you handle it, or whether you accept it, is down to you. Walt Disney knew all this knowledge and showed it to his audience via his logo of Walt Disney. Walt Disney also incorporates three 666s six in the logo. Looking at the Apollo 11 mission, we take a look at Buzz Aldrin out of the three astronauts. This is because Buzz Aldrin has been the most outspoken and verbal with regards to the moon landing, his expression on what really went on. As I said before, Freemasons like to tell you what's going on in plain sight. They use this through imagery, comedy and through skits. This is because it seems humorous and people find it funny and think that these people are expressing the information are literally joking when they're not. Let's look at the photo. You say that's me? Okay, check out the name badge. It says Aldrin, looks like you're right, but notice the helmet. Can you see my face? No, this is a secret I've been keeping for almost half a century. <laughs> On July 20th, 1969, Neil Armstrong and I pulled off humanity's first extraterrestrial prank. The following interviews 
are from the first one being the three astronauts from the Apollo 11 space exploration, and the second one being by Professor Foster on his explanation of what the moon is and what it is made up of. I just want you to pay attention to the three astronauts expressions when conducting the interview. Bearing in mind, these are people who've just hit a humanitarian milestone in history for space exploration and the first people to visit the moon. Things that occurred on and about the moon. We will use uh, a number of films and... The Americans and Russians are thinking of landing men on it. Oh, well, that will never happen. Not on the moon. On Mars, on Venus, on other planets, yes. But the moon is definitely, as I assert, a plasma. As a lot of Freemasons get older, the secrets are harder to keep. You tend to find with a lot of Freemasons who get towards the end of their life, they feel they have no duty or no responsibility to keep the secrets any longer. This is because they won't be around for much longer as it is. So therefore, they have nothing to lose. Has nobody been to the moon in such a long time? <laughs> That's not uh, an eight-year-old's question. <laughs> That's my question. I want to know, but I think I know. Because we didn't go there, and and that's the way it happened. And, and if it didn't happen, it's nice to know why it didn't happen. the scariest moment of the journey? Scariest? It didn't happen. It could have been scary. Certainly right. Hmm? It is not only Buzz Aldrin's claims that they never went to the moon, but there is substantial evidence that backs up Buzz Aldrin's claims of never going to the moon as we delve further. As you can see from the space boots depicted in the picture, the footprints clearly show a different pattern to the sole of the boots worn by the space boots of the astronauts. It's the only one out of the three astronauts that has expressed his emotions and feelings on what the truth is regarding the moon landing. You only have to look at this piece of footage and evidence of an interview with Donald Trump speaking to the Americans with regards to space exploration and being the leaders and forefounders of space exploration and the moon landing. Just take a look at Buzz Aldrin's disapproval. For a long time, I used to say before doing what I did, I used to say, what happened? Why aren't we moving forward? Today's announcement sends a clear signal to the world that we are restoring America's proud legacy of leadership in space. At some point in the future, we're going to look back and say, how did we do it without space? The Vice President will serve as the Council's chair. The privatization of certain aspects is going to be very — it's going to play a very crucial role, don't you think? They are truly into it. I will say that's not easy, because everybody wants to be on this board. People that you wouldn't have believed loved what we're doing so much. They want to be some of the most successful people in the world want to be on this board. The human soul yearns for discovery by unlocking the mysteries of the universe. We unlock truths within ourselves. That's true. Our journey into space will not only make us stronger and more prosperous, but will unite us behind grand ambitions and bring us all closer together. Wouldn't that be nice? Can you believe that space is going to do that? I thought politics would do that. Well, we'll have to rely on space instead. Every launch into the skies is another step forward toward a future where our differences seem small. The picture shown in front of you is one of the most important and famous pictures with regards to the moon landing and the Apollo 11 mission. This is not because it shows somebody walking on the moon, but because of the two shadows that are cast on the floor, being in two different directions, with the astronaut's feet posing one shadow towards eight o'clock, and the shadow on the right-hand side pointing towards 10 o'clock. This shows that a clear indication there are two light sources on the moon, which would be impossible, as the only light source available would be the sun. 
Watch what happens when a fellow crew member of the Apollo 10 is confronted about the Apollo 11 moon landing and asked to swear on the Bible to confirm that the moon landing did actually happen. How are you doing? Um, I was given a classified tape from the Apollo program that's 31 years old. It's an unedited reel, including outtakes from the mission. Hmm. Uh, it's got about 20 takes of a single shot of the mission. What mission? Apollo 11. Yes. And the photography is being forged in the mission. They're faking a shot of being halfway to the moon. And they refer to you on the tape as a shot that was done during Apollo 10, where you put a transparency over the window and move the camera of the Earth and move the camera back away from the window turn off the lights in the spacecraft and appeared to be halfway to the moon when in fact they were in Earth orbit. Huh, really? Yeah, and they said it was the same way that you did it on Apollo 10. So we wanted to give you the opportunity to put your left hand on the Bible, to raise your right hand, to swear to God. Stick it in your ear. Well, you were giving an opportunity to swear to God under oath that you walked on the moon. I don't do that kind of thing. Well, if you really walked on the moon, what's the problem of swearing to God that you did? Do you believe in God? You want me to knock you in the head? Well, I want you to, I want you to swear Get to God on the Bible me. that you walked on the moon. Them, okay? If Get you walked on the moon, we're given the opportunity to swear to God that you walked on the moon. I'm going to give you the opportunity to get the hell knocked out of you if you don't leave me alone. As we turn our attention to space and NASA, You'll understand why every astronaut that is recruited is a Freemason. This is to keep the code of silence and to never share your fellow Masons' crimes and to cover them at all costs. It is public knowledge that astronauts do their training submerged underneath water while working on replica spacecraft. There is therefore no logical explanation as to why a helmet of a spacesuit should fill with water while on a space exploration. Also, if there is zero gravity, your hair would wave and float within zero gravity. It would not stand up straight like it had just been sprayed with hairspray, or you'd received an electric shock. Astronaut drowning in a spacesuit on a spacewalk 260 miles above planet Earth. Drowning inside his own helmet caused him to nearly drown inside of his own suit water in his helmet it's an incredible story harrowing almost unfathomable unbelievable this was one they had never envisioned so i experienced uh, what it's like to be a goldfish in a fishbowl your incredible research abilities really strike again astro academy did a whole series with tim peak on the esa using that background as a reference marker for the experiments he was doing not green screens. Here's the literal video in question, him spinning the ball with the grid behind him. They're reference markers to show speed and angle and direction. And it's obviously a, there's an air guy filming with a green tennis ball in front of a blue screen. Right. Clearly, I mean, it's not even. And then here's a clip of what they turn it here's into. Here's this water particle. Yeah. Yeah. There might be some of you wondering, sitting there, thinking, but wait a minute, what about Elon Musk? Hasn't Elon Musk sent rockets to space? Didn't he send a rocket man in a roadster to space? Well, unfortunately to tell you, that was all green screen and fake as well. Freemasons do not get to be Freemasons and you do not get to be a millionaire unless you join the Freemasons. This is what is known as the 20 million pound plus club. So just remember, the next time that you see a moon landing or a space exploration, it's nothing more than smoke, mirrors, hairspray and harnesses.
They would. 